Mr. Lin, your company Esco Aster is co-developing a vaccine with a U.S. company. How is this different from other vaccines? Our vaccine candidate, which is uh, being co-developed with Vivaldi Biosciences, this itself has a universal influenza backbone. Uh, it has been given in early stage clinical trials to more than 100 patients with no adverse events or any viral shedding. Um, in, in and of itself, the concept is like a Lego concept. So we have a backbone uh, and then this is joined together with uh, different sequences, uh, genetic sequences, and we can actually form new vaccine candidates uh, once a backbone is uh, fully clinically developed in uh, less than a month. Uh, the vaccine in and of itself actually is uh, self-adjuvenating. Therefore, actually, uh, this is a uh, uh, added safety and for ease of production. Uh, it is also actually filled in a form of a nasal spray. So we have one dose uh, in each nostrils per patient. So we avoid the need of having any injections and it can be easily administered by the healthcare ecosystem. Uh, furthermore, we have uh, considered that uh, you know, developing manufacturing capabilities and capacities, this is actually a global effort that needs to take place. So we are using a well-known uh, cell line. The cells are like mini factories that produce a vaccine. Uh, the cell line we're using is a VO cell line. This is a well-known cell line that is uh, used for many commercial approved vaccines, such as rabies and JEV. Uh, and this VO cell line is a uh, uh, many vaccine companies around the world already have a well-established uh, vivo cell manufacturing platform. So we will be able to scale up with the help of uh, international collaborators and the entire healthcare ecosystem in order to produce sufficient doses uh, internationally for global supply. Right. Well, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong um, said last week that Singapore will build up our vaccine manufacturing capabilities to ramp up production once a vaccine is available. So what kind of vaccine production capacity are we talking about here? Will that be for domestic demand or export as well? Mm -hmm. I, this, uh, this was similarly also mentioned by Minister Lawrence Wong, uh, but such a vaccine manufacturing capability, once a vaccine candidate uh, is available and is uh, commercially developed, will be uh, available for those in need. Um, so, however, in order to have, uh, uh, from a business point of view, in order to have uh, sufficient economies of scale, uh, such a vaccine fill and finish facility uh, will be needed for the entire ASEAN and um, uh, Oceania. So that's Australia and New Zealand. So that will be serving a population of uh, more than 650 million people. And when do you see a production of vaccines uh, to begin? A lot of companies like yourselves are sort of in a race, in, a, in effect, to uh, get something out as quickly as possible? Mm -hmm. uh, I think there are two aspects to this. Uh, as of date, actually, there are more than uh, 130 different vaccine candidates uh, that are being developed. And uh, in addition to that, there are actually more than uh, 400 different uh, therapeutics that are being repurposed, uh, such as uh, Vendisivir or uh, monoclonal antibodies. Uh, however, for a fill and finish facility, if you're looking at uh, um, sufficient needs for Singapore, uh, and if you're doing it from scratch, a fill and finish facility that will produce uh, 25 million doses per annum will take anywhere from one and a half to two years um, uh, to, to, to develop, even if you're using a containerized or modular format to build a plant uh, greenfield site. If you're looking at a uh, uh, regional supply, so that is uh, estimated at one billion doses per annum, then such a facility, even without a freeze dryer, may take anywhere from uh, two and a half to three years. Uh, of course, there they could be possibilities in which uh, um, uh, other fill lines uh, could be brought into Singapore. So these could either be second-hand lines or lines which are in uh, existing uh, multinational or biotech or SME sites uh, around the world uh, into Singapore for faster ramp-up. Uh, so such a brownfield site could be uh, as quick as uh, uh, one year. Uh, within ESCO Asset itself, we have a fill and finish facility. This is uh, coming online earliest quarter three, 2021 next year. Uh, and we will be able to produce uh, 6 million doses, which is sufficient for uh, vaccine self-sufficiency for Singapore. Okay, thank you, Mr. Lin.